So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy all years. Yes, this video is gonna go up before the year is finished, but happy all years. I hope that you have all your New Year's resolutions set and I hope that you achieve all your New Year's resolution that you had for this year that is currently coming to an end. On that note, I'm gonna share you with you guys my 2019 recap. Uh, this year was definitely a very <laughs> interesting year i don't know how to start it but basically in a nutshell this year is a lot of highs a lot of lows a lot of dealing with fake friendships um dealing with a lot of dealing with a lot of emotional issues and stuff like that and when i say emotional issues this does not concern dean and i and i'll get to that in a second but this concerns friendship um co-workers and that kind of thing so yeah 2019 was a year of um really great experience for your girl but also some really bad experience as well and yeah i guess you win some and you lose some I guess also it was the start of new beginnings for friendships and relationships meaning friendships so yeah I am not the type of person to really um, mix and mingle with a lot of people and I have friends yes but I limit what I tell my friends and I think everyone should too but if you have a really good friend and you have a you have faith and trust in them then yeah but I mean people can be a real um sometimes so you definitely have to bite your tongue and watch your telling someone and they may be your best friend today but they can be your enemy tomorrow that's not the case with me but i'm just telling you guys like you know so yeah 2019 was really great it was a really interesting year and i'll get to that in a second so i'm just gonna try so in january i graduated from kawi as you guys know i did my basic level in ontology about four years ago because um here is not really my thing a passion for something you're gonna pursue it so here here is not my thing even though i love my hair dealing with other people here is definitely not your girl thing so i always had a passion for skincare so i did my basic level in um, skincare and then i did my advanced level in aesthetics so in january i graduated from kawi and if you guys follow kawi on instagram you'll see i do go back and forth i do have clients that i go to at school and see about them because i am currently as you guys know well i don't know if you know my new subscribers um i want to open my own spa soon but dan and i are currently building our house so that is our main focus and we are almost coming to the end of finishing so we definitely might move in by march for the latest or if not january february but march for the latest keep keeping fingers crossed but yeah so i definitely want to open my own spa soon but um yeah so i did my advanced level in aesthetics and i still go back to kawi and i do i have clients that i take there and also we have a lot of spa days and stuff like that so i work there part-time whenever i am needed so yeah so uh that was a really um big moment for me uh graduating getting my certificate being certified and stuff like that obviously i'm not gonna stop there i'm gonna i want to keep pushing in this field you definitely have to keep educating yourself and try not to um, fall out of the loop because it's an industry that everything is changing technology is changing so you definitely have to stay in the loop and keep up to date with everything new equipment new products uh, and just new technologies so yeah so that was that in february my little niece if you guys follow me on instagram you know that i post her a lot she turned one and she's my little eyeball and wow that was such a, a milestone <laughs> for me and her because i mean like just the other day she was like a little baby so yeah definitely will say that this year i partied a lot um usually I party <laughs> but I mean like this year I like party a lot 
and I'm going through my photos and my pictures and stuff like that I'm like wow yeah you did that like I, I party a lot so yeah I definitely party a lot this year no joke about it I did if you follow me on Instagram you'll definitely see some videos on there but uh, yeah so I did party a lot this year apart from partying I also prayed a lot this year I think this year I prayed more than I prayed in my life to be honest um, and I'm, I'm just thankful for certain things in my life I'm thankful for the life that I have been blessed with for the life that I've worked for for the life that God has provided me with I am forever blessed and thankful of the family that I have um, of the husband that I have and everything like that so I prayed more than I have ever prayed in my life which is scary because you're supposed to pray a lot but um, God is real if you don't believe that and believe whatever you want to believe but I mean like God is real in my situation God is real so yeah that's that but yeah anyways <laughs> so yeah this year I had a lot uh, I met a lot of great people um, I started a lot of new friendships I have my yoga buddy Jackie she is a really awesome only like a mentor but she's an inspiration for me like we work out together she motivates me to work out to be healthy and she's a mom of two she's 35 she don't even look like 35 I'm not gonna post her picture or anything like that but she is amazing she inspires me a lot so Jackie if you're watching this thank you you low-key push me really hard to like you know stay healthy um, actually not stay healthy be healthy <laughs> try and stay fit it and be calm so she definitely helps me a lot through that I also met a really good one of my friend which is Sarah Sarah I keep mixing up her name Sarah 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 she is also a really awesome person she's a really great friend um, I met her through we used to go, we go at the same school at Kawi so we go there and that's how I met her and then we end up starting to work together so then we build our relationship from working and just going to class and stuff like that so Sarah is a really really awesome sweet the most caring given person that you can ever meet that is Sarah like hands down that is her she literally will go out of her way to make you happy so yeah 2019 i met two friends that i think will definitely stick with me for a really long time on that note 2019 was the year that i started my first ever job in this industry such as the whole cosmetic feel and stuff like that i started to work at the spa i would not disclose the name of the spa or anything like that it was i only worked there for like about a month i believe uh, the girls was really nice up to this day the girls and i are still friends sarah and i are like basically besties <laughs> uh yeah and i ended up leaving that spa for s certain reasons um that i would not disclose to you all i don't know i find it's very humiliating um and i think the situation should have been dealt with in a better manner but nevertheless i end up leaving there so i had like a really great experience working at that particular spa it was amazing the girls some of the girls were actually majority of the girls were really amazing and fun except for one particular female that i would not disclose her name but um if you're watching this hi <laughs> but again i forgive and i learn from experience i learn how to deal with certain stuff emotionally that is very um very hard on the human brain and heart so i learned to go through situations and feel emotions and um, deal with it in a in a way that I don't think some people will usually deal with situations like how I deal with situations. I usually suppress my emotions and leave it, which is really bad, and I tend to ignore it. But this particular incident that happened, I had to like go through and feel all the emotions. So yeah, that was that. But other than that, the working experience was really good. The girls was amazing, except for one girl. But yeah, so that was that uh yeah 
and the big highlight of this entire year is Dean and I we started our home and it's almost like almost there like we're almost there the only thing that I that we have left to do is do the kitchen do my cupboards and whatever do the flooring built in the built-in cupboards for the rooms and the bathroom and stuff like that and do the electrical well with the lights and stuff like that and basically shop and move in and i'm so excited for that i mean like if, if you build your home with your partner and stuff like that and you build it from scratch it's basically your baby and that's how i think of my home that's how i watch it this is our child like you know like both him and I, we go back and forth with, you know, design, how we want our home. We want our home very modern, minimalistic, very um, simple, but also has a statement to it because both of us have bold personalities and very expensive taste. So, yeah, I can't wait for that next chapter of our life. So excited to start my new home with my boo and yeah that was really amazing so also this year your girl turned 25 and my mom turned 50 like wow then my dad is actually gonna turn 55 on the 6th of january and dean turned 29 so yeah this year was a lot of celebration my mom had a big bash for her birthday i I had a surprise birthday party. Um, Dean usually don't like parties, so I, I did something very intimate for him and I. And that was basically it. So looking back at the year, it was a pretty good year. Again, very interesting. Learning how to deal with emotions, dealing with people, dealing with fake people as well. So yeah, it's a really learning experience. And it's one that I would not trade for the world. So that's all that i have to say about that on that note i would like to wish each and every one of you oh by the way i totally forget this year my channel also has been growing i started my channel back in 2014 and i basically you know you're supposed like once of the year which is so sad i always like youtube i always like being in front of a camera always like taking pictures i don't know i think it's just in my nature um so yeah even before youtube was a thing i used to do like vlogs on my facebook and i'm sh pretty sure if you have me on facebook and you go back to videos which you shouldn't you'll see vlogs from way back then so yeah i started my channel in 2014 and I, again i used to just post like once a year not really taking it on but i think as of this year i started to post a lot frequent and i have to give two major shout outs to two local youtubers who, who really inspire me and make me push harder to work towards my channel um that is kimberly kojo as well as ranelli they are two Canadian youtubers and they really inspire your girl to like push shout out to kim to kimberly and ronelli you guys are amazing you guys should definitely go and check their channel out i'll put their links down below so definitely check them out so they inspire me to work hard on my channel and not give up and that's what i've been doing and i started to do the vlogmas and since that i've received so much love and support from you guys i'm almost at 230 subscribers i think the beginning of this year i had like 37 or something or maybe less than 37 to be honest and the year is like actually not the beginning i think it's like maybe mm, march april around there i had like 37 subscribers somewhere around there and look it's december and i'm almost at 30 subscribers so thank you guys so much i just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support that you have showed throughout the vlogmas season thank you guys to all my new subscribers and welcome aboard and follow me on this journey that i don't know where i'm gonna go but you shall see <laughs> on that note i'm gonna end hope you guys have a really happy happy new year hope your resolutions hope you set your resolutions hope your resolution for 2019 came through mine some of it came through some of it didn't but that's okay there's another year to to work on it you don't have to like you know conquer everything at once i mean if you can show me some ways please but if you can't 
then you'll get it so don't worry so yeah that's it hope you guys have a safe new year i'll see you guys in 2020 and stay blessed follow me on instagram for lady videos anyways guys